Hey, I'm Charlie Lovett, author of Escaping Dreamland, and in this video, I'm going to tell you the secret behind some of your favorite children's books. If you're in my generation, and even if you're not, you probably grew up reading The Hardy Boys or Nancy Drew. These are the books that got millions of American kids excited about reading, and a lot of us thought that their authors, Franklin W. Dixon and Carolyn Keene, were our favorite writers. There's just one small problem. Dixon and Keene didn't exist. The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, and scores of other children's series were the brainchild of one man, Edward Stratemeyer. Beginning in 1899, when he started the Rover Boys series, Stratemeyer managed one of the most successful publishing syndicates in American history. His formula was simple. Create a fast-paced story full of cliffhangers and packaged in an illustrated hardcover book priced so that kids could afford it. Stratemeyer created each series and he, and later his children, wrote outlines for the books. He sent those outlines to ghostwriters who got paid a flat fee to write the books. The early Hardy Boys books were written by a Canadian named Leslie McFarlane for $125 each. Not bad money at the time, but nothing like the millions in royalties the books would have brought in. Stratemeyer series included several you've heard of, and a lot you probably haven't. The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, Tom Swift, and the Bobsy Twins, but also Baseball Joe, The Moving Picture Boys, Ruth Fielding, The Motor Boys, Dorothy Dale, The X-Bar X Boys, and nearly a hundred others. The Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew shaped generations of Americans' reading habits, yet their true authors remain mostly unknown. That fact inspired me to write Escaping Dreamland. I wanted to explore the lives of fictional characters who, behind pseudonyms, create children's series books that still delight and inspire generations later. What if, I thought, there were a compelling reason for a 21st century writer to discover the true identities and stories of the people behind his favorite children's books? To find out the answer to that question, and to learn more about the history of children's series books, you can order a copy of Escaping Dreamland wherever books are sold. 